Hey, what's up, guys? Yeah, so I'm just shooting a quick video um, of how I mess up straight. So, usually I like to start, so I'll use kind of like the master's mix, but I've been kind of experimenting with ratios lately, so I don't do quite a 50 50. I like to do about a 25% uh, soy holes and 75% uh, hardwood uh, field pellets. So, what I'll do is Usually with the master mix, how it calls is you'll get one pound of this and one pound of this or 1.4 liters of water. So since I'm going a little lighter on this, I modified the recipe and my pressure cooker and like a standard pressure cooker, it's gonna fit about four blocks, I believe. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a prep in this tote right here to make enough for about four to six blocks just so I have like a couple extra with and then I'll experiment with one more recipe. But in terms of ratio, so it's not gonna be 50-50, um, we're gonna be shooting for, so the total should be eight pounds of dry material that I'm sh aiming for. And instead of doing four and four, we're gonna do like 6.5 and uh, like 1.5 of that. And then it's gonna get eight and for our water, we're gonna do 1.4 liter, which is six cups per pound of, uh, it's, it's six cup per, which I mean, it's like one per block. So anyways, whatever. So I'm gonna go ahead and measure all that up and we'll get, we'll get going, so. Oh boy, what a great explanation that was. What I meant to say is that every block is gonna get six cups of water. And since the total blocks we're going to be trying to make in this recipe is four, it's going to be six times four, so 24. Now I'm starting by measuring out, measuring out my wood pellets, and we are doing 6.5 pounds. Then following with the soy hulls, and I did, I believe, 1.5. Earlier in the video, I mentioned I was trying to aim for like a 25% supplementation ratio, but this is going to be about 18. This is what the soy hole looks like, and this is what the hardwood pellets look like before getting water. Okay, so I went ahead and I'm gonna boil, um, it's gonna be 24 cups of water, because six per, and then it's gonna be four, so six per, and then so six and four, 24. And then I'm gonna do this for the second method. Uh, I just put four cups in there, because uh, we're gonna do it in one bag, and I guess you'll see in a second. So I'll catch you in a little, a little bit. Okay, so this is one method to do it in like bulk, but I guess there's also other ways you can do it. And I want to give that a shot today. So we're gonna do the same thing, but instead of doing it in the tub, we're gonna go ahead and do one directly in the bag. And we'll see so that way, because I like to mix everything and get everything like nice, but this might be good enough to just do it on its own. So we're gonna give that a shot. See, it might make it easier, it might make it harder. The real test is when I'm gonna be in the lab, when I'm inoculating the bags, then I guess I'll see if, um, if like it's harder to mix everything through. But the reason I do it this way is because everything's already mixed, so when I add my spawn after it's pressure cooked, it's just, it's just so nice. I just, <laughs> I can disperse it very, very easily. And there's no like clumps or anything, so. All right, let's talk to me doing. Water is boiling, and we'll go ahead and do. Hmm. We'll do one. So. We'll go with a pound and a half. Just. Yeah. So that I can go. Alright. So that's a pound and a half. So 
also used um, old bran in the past instead of using um, soy hull. This is definitely makes a mess, but if you don't have access to soy hull, definitely use any kind of bran. It's gonna work. Um, if you do that, I don't know if it's gonna work in the back though, so I don't know. Just because this clumps up as soon as it hits water. This might be much easier than what you see in the next step because the knife can mix all this through, make sure it's all good, then bag everything. So I guess I guess you'll see. But I might end up liking this a lot better. So I'm just gonna go and wait for my water. Um, I like to boil the water for this, makes everything break down much easier. And yeah, that's about it. I'm gonna go wait to uh, grab the water for this as well, and I'll catch you in a sec. Ah, okay. All right, so. This is just coming off the stove right now. So this guy's in here. Hold on, let me make sure. Camera's good. Let's see. Alright. So I'm gonna go ahead and just dump this in here. That's uh, four four cups of water in here. Because for every bag it's gonna be uh, 1.4 liters, which is about four cups. I mean six six cups, my apologies. Wait, fuck. I fucked up. I need more water. Okay, so I just boiled uh, six cups of water. This is going to be for the, that single bag because we have uh, about a pound and a half of the hardwood and about half a pound of the soy hulls. And that's going to call for 1.4 liters of water, which is six cups. So let's see how this goes. Essentially, uh, what you do, and you want to fold it under. I have a section in the video about like how I fold the bags, but yeah, this is what it's going to give you, um, and that's ready to go in the pressure cooker. So I guess we will see how I like this over the other one. Uh, we'll inoculate that like tomorrow or in two days. I'm going to pressure cook this today, and then uh, we'll let it cool off, and we'll inoculate it, and I'll see how it goes. But I'll. Finish sharing how the rest of the process goes. And yeah. so let me go grab the rest of my water. So for this, uh, since I'm doing four bags, it's gonna be six cups times the four bags, so 24. So I got 24 cups of water boiling. I'm gonna go grab that, pour it in, shake it all up, and yeah, that'll be, that'll be a wrap. Okay, so I just grabbed my water. Just want to say I apologize. I repeated myself on those measurements like four times throughout the video. Um, I guess I just really wanted to make sure I gave the right uh, quantity. Anyways, uh, you can call me Larry Lobster when my oven mitts. <laughs> and here's a, a quick peek of what it looks like before I mix everything through. I should have kept the lock camera a little bit longer on there. Can't really tell too much. But yeah, just gonna mix everything through, make sure everything is just nice and blended. There's no clumps of like soy or no clumps of like, you know, wood that you can, you can tell. And then here's what it kind of looks like after it's mixed through. All right, and thank you for watching. So I'm just gonna let this uh, go for a bit. But I actually came back uh, the next day, I let that sit for a little bit, let the heat and the steam kind of nice and massage everything. <laughs> then uh, yeah, I came back the next day, um, 
And this actually might be a completely different substrate that I made, because uh, I made a bigger batch. I needed to make like 50 blocks or so. So I think I just made like a large bag. But this is how I go through the process of uh, bagging once everything is ready. And you could bag it right away. I just, just chose to wait on, uh, on that one. And so I just put my blocks on my scale after I fill it up just a little bit. And I believe with these blocks I was shooting for 3 to 5 pounds. And I'm just going to repeat that process over and over until the tote is completely empty and we have our bags and we're going to be ready to get all folded. Uh, I start by filling everything up first, that way it's just easier to just fold them all at once and it's easier to keep repeating the same process over and over than to kind of change uh, my method. I found it anyways. For folding the bags, I like to have the filter patch facing away from me. And the seams of the bag, uh, you can kind of squeeze them at the top and the sides, and then I push down and get all the air out. Then it's kind of easier to, uh, it'll kind of like guide along the side of the bag. And at the very end, I like to do a, uh, an extra little fold just in case uh, water could possibly get, you know, under or whatnot. It's got that extra uh, crease to go through. So I'm going to repeat the process with all the bags, uh, one on the table, just to get a better view. But yeah, I kind of just face the filter patch away from me, grab the top of the corners and align them, and then I'll push all of the air out and fold the remaining of the bag. Once that's all done, we're going to load the pressure cooker. I believe most of these bags were 3.5 pounds each, and I think I was able to fit six in my pressure cooker. And I'll kind of just like crisscross crisscross them, so I'll put two uh, parallel, then two perpendicular on top, two parallel uh, on top of those. Thank you if you uh, guys watched the uh, video, and if you enjoyed it, if you have any concerns, comments, Please uh, leave them below and I will catch you guys in the next one. Psyche.